Hey everybody, I'm Rachel. Welcome to The Way Kids. We are so happy that you're here today. We're gonna start by singing some songs together, worshiping God. Then we're gonna meet one of our special guests that you maybe met before. Then we're gonna hear a story from the Bible about a man who built a huge boat. There's animals, tons of rain. We're gonna learn about God's mercy. And then you guys will come back and we're gonna do some activities together. So I'm excited to see you. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, my name's Bree. This is Jer. Um, we're going to be singing today. We're going to teach you guys two new songs. And the first song is going to be more fast and fun with some actions. And the second song will be slower. Jer will play the guitar. Um, but we'll start with the faster one. So song number one, there's three different lines that we need to learn, okay? So the first line is, I've got peace like a river. Okay, so we're gonna pretend like we're rolling down a river with our hands. You got it? How's my river? Really good. Thank you. Peace like a river, okay? The second line is going to be, I've got joy like a fountain. Okay, got it? Number three, and the last line that we need to learn is, I've got love like an ocean. And you're gonna pretend like you're surfing on a wave in the ocean, okay? Love so let's summarize it. once. We've got peace like a river. We've got joy like a fountain. And we've got love like an ocean. Okay? So we're just going to sing those over and over and you can follow my lead. Okay? Love it. I've got peace like a river. This is the most important part of the song. The fun part, really fun We're part. We're gonna jam all three of those lines together, okay? It's gonna be really hard, but I think you can do it. So, follow my lead, okay? I've got peace, joy, love, like a river, fountain, ocean. I've got peace, joy, love, like a river, fountain, ocean. I've got peace, joy, love, like a river, fountain, ocean in my soul. Great okay. job, everybody. What's the next song? Next song is a little bit slower. We're going to talk about how we have become children of God through what Jesus did, okay? Love it. Sing along. Through the sun sets free, oh, he's free.
child of God, yes I am. Guys, thanks so much for singing with us. We can't wait for next time. My name is Clarence Murray. I'm, um, uh, how old am I? Somewhere in my 70s. And I'm a part of um, the Day Church. And uh, I'm here to read you this, this book. It's called um, That's Not My Bunny. And it's, it's an interactive book, which means you can touch these parts and there's different textures. It's very, very special. Okay. That's not my bunny. Its tail is, is too fluffy. Oh, very fluffy tail. Oh, man. Okay, it opens right up here. It's perfect. That's not my bunny. Its paws are too rough. Oh, very rough paws. One time my grandson was holding my hand and he said that it felt like he was holding hands with an old plum. And I thought, when, when have you touched an old plum? Keep and I going, was just so, oh, okay. All right, I'll keep reading. You don't want to hear about plums, that's fine. Okay, that's not my bunny. Its tail is too woolly. Do you, do you know what woolly feels like? It's kind of like this carpet here. Come down here, check this carpet out here. Very woolly. Very woolly. No, it's hard to get up now. Okay. There we go. Its tail is too woolly, kind of like this blue carpet. Blue's my favorite color, you know. Okay. That's not my bunny. Its eyes are too shiny. Whoa. It's a terrifying bunny. That's a very scary bunny. Well, shiny eyes indeed. Okay, that's not my bunny. Its nose is too fuzzy. Oh, my nose is pretty fuzzy too. If you, if you look at the right angle, it's like a forest in there. Some of those hairs haven't been tended to keep in years. Going. Oh, okay, all right, I'll keep going. We're almost done now, don't worry. It ends now, it goes, that's, that's my bunny. Found the bunny, congratulations. Very special moment for this young mouse here. His ears are so soft. Oh, goodness me. We're missing half the bunny. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, if you, if you know where the other half of the bunny went, please give us a call. We'd love to find the other half. And that was another book uh, by Osborne Touchy Feely Books. And, and they really made me feel something today. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't the medication I took before my last meal. I'm Clarence, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Callie's Vlog. Today is a brand new day filled with fun and adventure and amazing fun and fabulous surprises. <coughs> Who am I kidding, guys? I messed up today. Not like a huge mess up, but enough to ruin my day. And I don't know who to talk to but you, my vlog. Today, I don't know if I could do this. I don't think I can handle the pressure of it all. Guys, I told a lie. And what's worse is that I think my mom is going to find out and that that is not going to be good at all. Hey, Chip. What's wrong? I think I made a huge mistake today. Oh, no. What, what did you do? I told a lie to my mom. What? Why? Why else? I didn't want to get in trouble. But lies never help anything, Callie. I know. I think she will find out. So go and tell her now before she comes to you. I don't know. I'm so nervous. Yeah, I get it. What did you do? I'm so embarrassed. I was running around and I broke my mom's expensive lamp. She came home and asked who did it, but I told her it was Max. Callie, 
Max? Max is my cat. Oh no! I think she knows already. This reminds me of the story of Noah. Noah? From the Bible? How? Noah always wanted to do the right thing. It's time for our Bible story. After Noah had spent a very, very, very long time in the ark, God told him to go out along with his wife and his entire family. God also then told Noah to bring out every creature that was with him. That must have been a lot of animals. Oh, definitely. Two of every kind. And then what happened? Then Noah wanted to honor and thank God for keeping them safe. The Lord was very pleased with what Noah did. So much so that God promised the earth will never be destroyed again. Thank goodness. Definitely. It was a wonderful time. God then made an amazing symbol in the sky to remind Noah of the promise that was made. That promise we can see to this day. Do you know what that symbol is? I have no idea. It's a rainbow. God made a beautiful rainbow in the sky. So whenever there are rain clouds in the sky, you can look up and see the promise that God made to Noah and has made to us. Amazing. The rainbow in the sky is to remind us of God's mercy. We mess up a lot, but God gives second chances, not just for Noah and his family, but for you and me as well. Let's celebrate. Because Noah really wanted to do the right thing and tried his best to make God happy, God saved him and showed him mercy. Mercy? What's that? Mercy is when someone forgives you or is kind to you like God was kind to Noah. That makes sense. Thanks, Chip. Catch you later. Catch you later. I'm so nervous, but I think my friend was right. It's best that I go and admit what I did to my mom. And maybe she will show me mercy. I'll do that now. A few moments later. We have a new comment from Ricky. What did your mom say when you apologized? Well, my mom said that she loves me, forgives me, and will give me another chance. I was so happy. She said if I lie again, that I will have to take a break from vlogging for a whole week. I definitely don't want to do that. My mom gave me mercy, and I want to try to keep doing what's right because God promised us mercy. Okay, catch you next time. Hey, welcome back. I hope you had so much fun meeting Clarence and hearing about Noah. And what we want you to remember today from what we learned was that when God makes a promise, he always keeps his promise. And the biggest promise that God made was that we could find forgiveness and find full life through his son, Jesus. So another thing we saw today was a rainbow. And whenever we see a rainbow, it's kind of fun that we can be reminded of God's promise. So we thought today, maybe we could paint a rainbow like this one. I did this with my kids at home. And then we just attach some string at the back and be hanging in our house just to remember God's promises. Um, you could do it with pencil crayons, with chalk on black paper would be really cool. You could do markers, crayons, whatever you have at home. And if you wanna submit it, there might be a prize. You can give it to your parents, get them to take a picture and they can find all the information on our website. So I would love to pray for you. God, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you that your promises never fail and they're true. And we ask that we would leave today knowing that we're loved and that we're safe in you. In Jesus' name, amen. See you later.